good morning good morning to everyone am i audible properly yes ma'am yes ma'am yes sir hello uh, am i audible yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, okay good morning to everyone basically and i'm again introduce myself i'm dr anu naruka as a assistant professor of genetics and plant breeding of sri vaishnav institute of agriculture at triple b indore so i welcome to behalf of today's sanmantra 2022 workshop topic on opportunity in agriculture sector so now i warmly and respectfully welcomes our head of the department dr vinod dhar sir Uh, who has been the pillar behind this event and now i am the profoundly delighted to take an opportunity to introduce our guest speakers dr sangram bhanudas shavan he is a ars scientist in agroforestry icr national institute of abiotic stress management baramati maharashtra india so now i am briefly introductions about our today's guest speaker he did phd in forestry from the ccs hiu haryana and he did masters from forestry in fcrit and au coimbatore in 2011 and then bsc forestry from college of forestry department dr dskkv dapoli in 2009 he was selected as a scientist in agriculture research service of indian counseling of agriculture research ministry of agriculture and farmer welfare the government of india during 2013 and now he has served as a scientist of forestry at icar central agroforestry research institute jhasi now and presently is the transfer of the icr national institute of biotic stress management baramati and since last 9 year he is working on the various aspect of agroforestry research and development mainly concentrated on biomass and carbon modeling livelihood security productions of quality planting material and climate change his major research contributions was quantify the india agroforestry area and carbon sequences potential on country level now we are talking about the research publications he has published more than 25 research article in international and aromatic plant national peer reviewed journal like a set current science springer lgbr he has also published the 10 10 book chapters and more than 10 popular and technical bulletin on the agroforestry area he is also the two famous book published the competitive forestry first one is is the related to the ars net and state service and ugc exams for student and second one book is promising agroforestry tree species in india now he also guided the master student in the bundelkhand university jhasi during the short research experience total the 9 year experience he work of pi aromatic plant and also co pi in project assessment of soil uh, aromatic plants water conservation activity etc he has also developed the android based application farm tree for the agroforestry participatory and student for the policymakers policy maker and various stockholder and last one but not least he has co organized one of the mega event third world congress in agroforestry at new delhi he is the editorial member for the journal of tree science published by indian society of tree science and acting as reviewer in many springer chair francis elzevier current science and last one is currently he is working on the sandalwood based agroforestry for higher income generation in degraded land now i am again invite to dr sangram is the today's workshop topic is indian sandalwood is productive and profitable parasite so please dr sangram sir please over here today's session Uh, thank you, Doctor Anu. Thank uh, you. First of all, uh, a very good morning to uh, everyone. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Uh,
First of yes, all, I'm very much thankful to organizers for providing me opportunity to share some of my experiences uh, and something new. Uh, majority of time uh, we know about agriculture and even agroforestry also. But uh, uh, everyone knows that if once we are taking the name of sandalwood, everyone thinks about uh, uh, majorly two aspects. One aspect is money and second aspect is some uh, someone will come and steal the tree. Means uh, chori ka dar sabko rata hai ki sandalwood lagane se chori ho sakti hai. So for this uh, majorly two aspects, uh, I am going to deal with uh, uh, about uh, sandalwood. So I will share my uh, presentation. So, uh, is it visible? Yes, sir. It's sir, it's visible properly. Yes, okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. So, my uh, yes. today's topic is Indian sandalwood, a productive and profitable parasite. Everyone may be thinking why the word is parasite. It is coming for uh, Indian sandalwood. Majority of people we are uh, we don't know that sandalwood is a parasite. It requires uh, some host to grow. It requires host to take some nutrients and water resources from particularly from the host for the uh, its life cycle so why it required a host for its uh, journey that we will see in upcoming slide indian sandalwood it is uh, endemic to india and it is pride of our uh, country as presently majority of uh, uh, production as well as uh, consumption of uh, sandalwood uh, resources uh, India is number one and we are exporting majority of uh, sandalwood uh, products are exported to the uh, United States, European countries, uh, China and Japan. So uh, during my whole this presentation, I will be mostly talking about uh, introduction. So what is sandalwood, why it is important, then uh, important features uh, re related to ecology and its uh, and silviculture. Then uh, uh, its extent and uh, historical perspective of sandalwood. Why, uh, from historically, it is important. Uh, then uh, quickly one or two slides on uh, nursery techniques, how to grow sandalwood, and uh, what are the easy techniques to prepare our own seedlings. Then how to plant uh, sandalwood because as it is parasite and it's required a series of hosts. So what will be the appropriate planting uh, geometry for sandalwood? Then growth. How much years required to get uh, profit from sandalwood? Either it is uh, 10 years, 5 years, 15 years, and how much yield can be generated from one tree that we are going to see. Also economics, we see millions of rupees can be generated from sandalwood, so how it is possible, how much cost is required and how, what is the output after uh, 10 to 15 years. Then uh, most probably I told, I mentioned earlier that risk, uh, how, what, uh, what are the risks involved in sandalwood cultivation. Then conclusion and we will go for quick uh, question and uh, answer section. So this will be the my uh, slide. Before uh, actually starting, uh, there is one great thought uh, by Ravindranath Tagoreji that the sandal trees as it to prove how sweet to configure hair. Sorry, sir, to interrupt. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, can people join without registration with this workshop? I just send my the link to my class fellow. So few of okay. them are uh, not join. Okay, sir. Uh, okay, sir. Just wait, sir. Please give me one minute. Please wait, sir. Just. Yes, uh, uh, to dear uh, presenter, yes, uh, just the meeting, write them to that the meeting is full. Please do something. Uh, I will uh, share the link with my class fellow, MBA, agribusiness student with Central University of Punjab. So they will join also with the workshop. Okay, uh, sir, can you tell me her name? Yeah, Ashukumari, uh, first was uh, she. Uh, I think so. She just joined also here. Yes, yes, yes. I have joined. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. And now anyone? So? So I will try so in group. If uh, the same problem arises, I will share again. Thank you for that. Thanks. Okay. I think now please. is fine. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry for uh, sir, Dr. Please Sangram. continue your presentation. Yes. Thank you. Now, Dr. Sangram, please continue, sir. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. So we'll uh, resume again. 
so there is one famous saying by Ravindranath Tagore ji, the sandal trees, as it to prove how sweet to conquer hate, love, perfumes, the urge that lays it low. So coming to the sandalwood, everyone can uh, take a look of the picture uh, in your uh, right side. Uh, that tree, uh, very greenish and shining uh, leaves is a sandalwood tree. And uh, uh, scientific name, majority of uh, cases in biological sciences, we know that particular tree is scientifically like Santalum album. It belongs to family Santalisi. And uh, throughout the world, if we see the distribution in the lower side of the lower or left corner, uh, India, some uh, Australia, then some countries like uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea, uh, one or two, some small islands. Uh, so these are there and throughout the world, uh, there are 18, tot uh, 18 species are recorded throughout the world. But among that, uh, two species are al uh, already extended. Uh, but compared to the other remaining 16 species, the Indian sandalwood, it's very much famous and economically important because the hurtwood oil, the oil extracted from the sandalwood, which is used in the many pharmaceuticals, <coughs> sorry, uh, soap industries, pharmaceuticals uh, thing, and even agarbatti preparation. So this hurtwood percentage from sandalwood of a sandalum album is higher compared to other 16 species. Almost we can get one sorry. to eight of oil percentage so our indian sandal sir, is sir, is very much important species uh, than other reported uh, 18 species coming to the if we see we uh, we want to rank it the most expensive tree species in the world if we rank it the so sandalwood occupies in first five species first one is melanoxylon which is uh, available uh, available in africa it is uh, one of the costliest tree species and it's rank uh, rank first then second one species is in northeast of India. We are generally saying it is known as Agarwood species, Aquilaria agalocha. So that species is second one. And in that way, our sandalwood also comes in for first five species. As I earlier mentioned, it is indigenous, indigenous to mainly southern southern part. Southern part say 90% of 90% area of Santalum album in India is reported in three states. First one is the Karnataka. Karnataka uh, among 90%, again 85% area in Karnataka. And remaining 15% area comes in the Tamil Nadu and some parts of Kerala. But uh, naturally, it can be growing. Since uh, generation, it can be growing from Andhra Pradesh, uh, dry, drier zone part, then Telangana, then some parts of uh, Madhya Pradesh, some parts of Maharashtra, and some parts of uh, Uttar Pradesh, say in Bundelkhand region. So, as I mentioned, it is, it, it is used for uh, uh, crafts, perfumes, others, pharmaceuticals, and uh, different types of medicinal plant. So, silviculture means it's biology, related to biology. How it is there? Phenology, if we consider phenology, uh, it is uh, generally evergreen trees. It sheds its leaves, but the percentage of shading leaves is very much minim minimum. So, it is uh, treated as a evergreen. Uh, it, uh, the flowering comes in uh, twice a year. First flowering generally used to come in November to December months and second flowering uh, uh, after April months. So two times we can uh, collect the seeds and, uh, and it's uh, providing good opportunity for multiplication. Secondly, soil and which type of soil it can be grown. If we see the any type of degraded soil is very best for the sandalwood growth as it requires very low water, it uh, likes to grow uh, grow on degraded type so it can be come up with any type of soil only the thing is that that soil should not be waterlogging as sandalwood is tolerant to waterlogging condition uh, uh, it is susceptible to waterlogging condition it cannot come in the uh, stagnant water condition so uh, any type of soil say sandy soil clay soil red soil laterite soil loam soil even black cotton soil but it has to be well drained soil water to be removed quickly from that particular side, it should not be stagnant. Then coming to the climate, it favors, it likes to grow in dry monsoon climate, where uh, possibly rainfall distribution is around 500 to 1600, 1600 rainfall we are uh, achieving in some parts of Karnataka and uh, Mariur uh, region of uh, Kerala, where this uh, sandalwood is mostly growing naturally and remaining 500 mm means it can be growing 
uh, uh, it can be going in some parts of Jodhpur also, some parts of Punjab also, Bundelkhand where we are receiving 500 to 700 mm of or 800 mm of rainfall. And in Maharashtra, if we see the the part of Maradwada and some uh, uh, drier region, rainfed region of uh, Maharashtra, it can uh, come up with. For its best temperature, it can be growing around the range of 20 to 40 degrees centigrade. Even there are reports uh, from Punjab, it is growing in 45 degrees centigrade also, and it has ability uh, and it is producing economically a uh, hot food also. Then uh, growth, as I mentioned, sandalwood is uh, generally moderate uh, fast growing species. It is not a fast growing species. It is slow growing species. But when we are integrating in agricultural land, when we are having uh, plantations, we are providing uh, nutrients, we are providing water. Under such condition, it shows some fast, uh, fast growth. And if you see the, the tree of uh, 15 to 20 years, it can grow almost 10 to 12 meter in height and girth, girth can be 15 to 120 centimeter. In 1996, when the survey has carried out in the natural growing part of sandalwood, that time the uh, huge decrease in the population put up this tree uh, under endangered category in 1996 and 1997 uh, by IUCN. But recently in 2019, again, they had a study that uh, the extent or uh, vulnerability of the sandalwood is still exist. And they found that due to commercial plantation, the number of uh, stems in the wild means number of trees are growing in India are uh, at faster space. So now they changed the category, IUCN category from endangered to vulnerable. So it is not having much difficulty. Coming to the why sandalwood is uh, depleted from India, as uh, we mentioned, from last 3000 years, we are having monopoly in sandalwood, particularly India and uh, that three states. So uh, how it is, I have uh, here presented some three images. First image, uh, everyone knows uh, the King uh, Tipu Sultan. Second one is the uh, most famous person, uh, Virappan. And third one, one uh, person, uh, Dr. Padmanabhan. These three people are, uh, related to sandalwood first one is 19 1790 during 1790 when tipu sultan was ruling mysore region that time he put up sandalwood as a royal tree when he declared the sandalwood as a royal tree so he banned everyone to harvest no one can touch even the tree is growing in our own backyard we cannot touch and the bindings enforced by tipu sultan Till existed up to 2002. After our independence, no one tried differently to deregulate this binding, and it was treated as a royal tree till 2002. Then, second one, you know about everyone, the, it is Chandan Taskar Virappan, and he was in the Satyamangala forest region near Mysore, and uh, but it is located in uh, Tamil Nadu. So, majority of naturally grown big size uh, trees he illegally harvested and he sold. He's, uh, he sold. So, from 1965 onwards to till uh, say till 19 uh, till 2000, he were ruling in that particular region, and majority of natural population. That population was in bigger in size. Say that diameter was more than 100 centimeter. So like that trees he harvested. And third person, uh, he, he made revolutionize in the sandalwood. The person who made sandalwood uh, as a, uh, can be cultivated in agricultural land. He spent his whole, whole career on sandalwood research in IWST and Sandalwood Research Center near uh, Bangalore. And uh, with the, his efforts now, sandalwood can be grown everywhere. Even he is the person instrumental in introducing Santalum album in Australia in 1990. He, is pro he provided consultancy to so many countries and now everyone is coming for sandalwood. So major, major causes of decrease, as I told, over exploitation by the illegally over exploitation as the rates of sandalwood was skyrocketing it was very high then illegal felling then grazing and lopping sandalwood leaves are uh, very much good for our uh, livestock livestock can uh, eat that leaves then uh, grazing and lopping then second one is exotic soil plantation we know 1970s onwards majority of places eucalyptus and other species some invasive species like lantana camera introduced and due to that species the natural regeneration of sandalwood got damaged so exotic soil plantation also affected sandalwood growth 
Then in 1970s and 1990s, when sandalwood spike disease caused by phytoplasma, it's affected more than six lakhs sandalwood trees in the natural area of Karnataka, uh, Tamil Nadu, and Karnataka. And then third one, as I mentioned, the policy issue. Even after our independence, no one taken seriously sandalwood. When 1996, it is uh, put up under the category of uh, endangered. Everyone thought, okay, sandalwood, our glory, our pride is missing, and we need to take some decisions. And the decisions has come up rightly. So here are two figures. You see. Uh, one figure, uh, India map, year 1990 and 2007. So after 17 years, and uh, uh, the difference between both the maps are 17 years. So you see, in 1990, the Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and some parts of Kerala. Here, the concentrated population of sandalwood was reported earlier, and some scattered population is Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, Madhya Pradesh, some parts of Rajasthan, and some scattered uh, part in. Uh, Punjab or uh, Punjab region. But if you are seeing in 2007, uh, the population, the dense population, concentrated population started fragmenting. It started fragmenting due to illegal harvesting. The demand was more, but supply was less. And the international market scenario, the prices were going like, uh, like uh, skyrocketing like. So uh, the, in 2007, the main areas as, as Karnataka, uh, Karnataka region, the population started fragmenting and similar time, the states like Maharashtra, Telangana and some Gujarat, they were coming uh, for uh, sandalwood plantations. So this is another one picture where we can see uh, the present uh, condition in 2015, one uh, report published in Down to Earth magazine, the rise of royalty. Rise of royalty means many People started inventing, as I mentioned in 2002, landmark policy change was happened. The, the policy of Karnataka state, they changed. They mentioned that anyone can plant, plant sandalwood tree and they can harvest it with the forest permission. Earlier till 2002, there were no any policy reforms. No one can touch sandalwood tree, but after 2000, the Karnataka has made a huge success and similar way in 2000, again to the, after to the Karnataka, Tamil Nadu also taken decision to deregularize the sandalwood. It means anyone can plant on their private lands and they can be harvested with proper permission. By following this, other countries, other states started promoting sandalwood. In similar way, if you can see, in 2015, almost 17,400 uh, hectare area was under sandalwood sandalwood plantation and among that Karnataka was uh, having a uh, highest uh, area then Telangana was increasing uh, similar time uh, Madhya Pradesh also was uh, increasing in Madhya Pradesh if you see the Katni region there uh, very large plantations of sandalwood can be visible and uh, uh, currently in 2020-2021 Gujarat and Maharashtra they are coming uh, coming as a giant in sandalwood plantation. So there was uh, one study by Thompson et al. Uh, from Australia. He, he estimated based on some reports, he told that uh, in India presently it is around 30,000 hectare area under sandalwood and Australia it is around 25,000 of area. If we see the journey of our sandalwood, as I mentioned in 1792, it was declared as a royal tree by, uh, by Tipu Sultan. So in uh, then 1840, 1840, uh, Western Australia region, uh, Western Australia it is a dry part. They entered in sandalwood because uh, they are also having their Santalum spiketum. India is having Santalum album, but same time Australia is having their own endemic species. That species is known as Santalum spiketum, and they entered in the trade. Similar time in 19, uh, 1871, first time they reported sandalwood is a parasitic tree, being being green in nature, being chlorophyll content, uh, having chlorophyll content in the leaves, but sandalwood tree cannot produce their own own food, and as well as it cannot take the uh, nutrients from the uh, soil. So, for the nutrient and for water purpose, it is depending on their host. So, in 1871, it is reported sandalwood as a hemiparasite. Then, 1970, uh, 1915, uh, during World War uh, First. Karnataka government uh, started, means that time the ruling uh, British government, they started sandalwood factory in Mysore. Then again in 1918, another one soap factory. Everyone knows about the Karnataka sandalwood soaps uh, 
factory. Uh, then in the seven, 1977, when population of sandalwood started de uh, de reducing, so therefore the government thought there is a requirement of some research center which can help to increase the sandalwood population in the wild and also to uh, conserve these precious uh, resources. So sandalwood research center in Bangalore, it started during 1977, 2001, as I mentioned, the major policy change. Then again, 2000 uh, in Niti Ayo, the Prime Minister's uh, Niti Ayo in 2020, they come up with uh, guidelines and in that guideline, they set up highly empowered committee to promote sandalwood in India under agroforestry sector as uh, as they are thinking that Australia will uh, will have monopoly and uh, being sandalwood Indian commodity, we need to do. So now it is on the way to be royal to people tree. So why sandalwood is, uh, sandalwood is this much important that we need to worry. So first of all, I, as I mentioned, is pride of India. Then there is a huge gap between demand and supply. If we see the demand and supply in 1960s, the supply of sandalwood hardwood, hardwood was around 4,000 tons from India alone. And if we are seeing, taking the example of present condition after 2010, we are hardly providing only 300 tons. If you see uh, in the left hand, right hand corner, share of countries in production in 2020, uh, 2012. So you see 350 tons was coming from other countries, 400 tons from India, that is in legal, legal way. And 1,800, uh, 1,800 tons of hardwood was coming from illegally from India. And similar time, almost, uh, sorry, 2,000 tons of uh, sandalwood hardwood was coming from illegally. And coming to the legal way, uh, Australia, almost 1,800 means more than 50% of the sandalwood was coming from the Australia. And similar uh, similar way, in the, before 2000, India was ruling more than 85% of trade was controlled by India. Then second one, third, third points of sandalwood is why important it is dollar earning parasite. Majority of sandalwood resource, uh, sandalwood products we are exporting to the other countries and it was uh, giving us uh, foreign econo foreign uh, exchange. So it was helping us for generating uh, foreign uh, foreign currencies. Then similar time change in uh, uh, GY practices and reduction in the rotation is rotation is means planting to harvesting the total number of years required from planting to harvesting in natural condition sandalwood was harvested after 30 years or 40 years but when we are planting in agriculture land with all requisites input it used to be harvested uh, within a 12 years or 15 years we will see how much yield is going to give that another one uh, that you see the one first is the annual government sandalwood harvest in india in 1990s, it was around 1,800, but in 2014, only 200 uh, tons of uh, hardwood. And similar time, the prices were increasing. As on 2021, if we are seeing the sandalwood hardwood price, it was almost 75 lakhs to 1.20 crores per ton. The one ton means 1,000 kg of hardwood costing more than 75 lakhs. And if we extract the oil from the hardwood, so one kg of uh, sandalwood oil costing almost 1.5 to 2 lakhs. So these high uh, high prices are attracting many millions of farmers to go for sandalwood cultivation. And similar time, we know that nowadays due to climate change, the assured market for the agriculture community is getting assured market is very difficult under such situation. The dependency on agriculture also started reducing people, mostly those are in job, they, they don't want to go for doing a, a annual cultivation and they, they are going for some sort of assured income. So among that sandalwood, uh, sandalwood is one. Coming to why sandalwood is re requires host, you see here the, some two images I have mentioned about root images where sandalwood is having xylem to xylem contact. And that xylem to xylem contact, it's uh, like single cell. And it's providing from that uh, contact or that contact is known as hosteria connection. And this hosteria connection help, uh, helps sandalwood to get to absorb the minerals and waters. So for this purpose, sandalwood is required some host. Also in preliminary stage, when sandalwood is having one year old or up to five years old, it requires minimum 40 to 50% of shade condition. 
so for that condition he likes to grow with some tree species so hosts are helping sandalwood for providing mineral nutrients and water as well as hay host then and the prime most important point economically important point is the hardwood production also influenced by host host compatibility there are more than 300 hosts reported that can support sandalwood and you see friends those are wanted to go uh, go for uh, sandalwood cultivation sandalwood cannot grow with alone single tree it require a series of hosts for when we want commercial sandalwood plantation from the nursery stage to till final harvesting after 15 years sandalwood required series of hosts here i will show you see first first image is pot uh, seedling sandalwood seedling and it is grown with red gram our arhar so it is pot host pot host is required for uh, in nursery condition and just to up to coming field similar time bridging host bridging host means when we are planting the sandalwood in the field another one host is required that time we can use again red gram as a bridging host also can be used then intermediate host means from uh, that intermediate host should not be Away from two meter distance is required minimum, uh, maximum two meter distance from sandalwood tree because this intermediate uh, host will provide uh, support to sandalwood up to first six years and the roots of sandalwood and this uh, intermediate host uh, forms uh, hosteria and from that hosteria sandalwood grows and laterally long term host again it is up to till harvesting say up to twelve years or say up to fifteen uh, years we will see what are the, these these uh, different types of host. so again we cannot plant any any tree with sandalwood it is uh, it is it won't be good sometimes uh, it cannot uh, help our sandalwood to grow so there are again some characteristic so there are some characteristic for better host means we can say these host are supporting sandalwood for good and some are worse host you see in better host means what suppose the tree we are planting for sandalwood to supply the nutrient if it is nitrogen fixing tree take the example of pongamia pinata karanja if the karanja like tree if we are planting it favors and it grows faster then that host canopy should be sparse type means if we are planting uh, like uh, dense canopy trees uh, like mahogany so sometimes it the mahogany tree provides uh, a shade more than 60 70% under such condition sandalwood uh, growth can be hampered so we require sparse canopy then it has to supply sufficiently abundantly nutrients and water then again one important point as for creating hosteria connection the penetration of sandalwood roots and host roots they are they should have some easy penetration again we know that allelopathic effect sometimes certain tree species say example of eucalyptus nilgir safeda we are telling generally the it is having allelopathic effect and that certain secretion of chemicals can hinders the growth of sandalwood so it should be having less allelopathic effect and if our sandalwood is growing uh, in dark green color leaves then we can understand that host is good similarly the uh, opposite to the better it is worse uh, that host should not be heavy feeder if it is like moringa moringa is heavy feeder if we are planting for intermediate host with sandalwood sometimes it take all water and nutrient from the soil and it cannot provide also uh, it should not be have thick canopy then the host should not compete for critical resources critical resources means water nutrients and light and if the sandalwood leaves are yellow yellow colored or chloritic uh, chloritic then we can say this host is not good if growth also stunted growth is not good or uh, sandalwood trees are started uh, dying then we can say these trees are not good see here two pictures uh, uh, these two pictures from same field this is five year old plantation near pune uh, where sandalwood is planted uh, planted with uh, uh, melia dubia this fixer uh, where where you can see the sandalwood leaves are shining they are leathery type these are the good host but in uh, right hand side picture you can see the dried one you are seeing it is pomegranate so they introduced that particular farmer planted uh, sandalwood with pomegranate but sandalwood parasitized this pomegranate and now leaves are like yellowish leaves so the sandalwood also sometimes killing their host if they are not providing proper nutrients so these two examples are there the which one can be the better host then how farmers are planting means how to plant in actually in field condition how many host is required more number of host if we are planting with sandalwood in good uh, 
planting geometry it's always favors sandalwood growth the picture is from uh, uh, picture is from gujarat the farmer planted more than 3 host for sandalwood you see this one is the sandalwood sandalwood tree uh, in the basin uh, basin of sandalwood tree there is one uh, bridging host alternanthera they have planted that uh, species with sandalwood then another one species near sandalwood is cajurina equisiti polia we are telling as a suru cajurina equisiti polia it is also nitrogen uh, nitrogen fixing but frankia is used for nitrogen fixation this one is second third one you, you can see this is long term host which can be uh, kept in the field for 25 years and this is pterocarpus centellinus everyone has seen pushpa movie where they used a red sandal uh, friends there are uh, in our speaking we are telling two types of sandal one is white sandal second one is a red sandal red sandal is pterocarpus centellinus actually red sandal it is a mispronunciation it actually red sanders sanders it is there and uh, it is completely different family and our white sandal that is centellum album it is different family but red sandals again uh, uh, again sold at higher price than compared to the sandalwood so uh, the farmer is planted the third host is uh, red sander and then fourth host again one host he has planted that is mango so he has planted series of host and uh, there is one uh, thumb rule we can say if we are planting one sandalwood tree we should plant minimum three different host species of sandalwood so this three different host species they will support sandalwood they will provide diverse type of nutrients amino acids and that tree sandalwood can be grown in a good very well very well so important host as i mentioned there are series of host bridging host intermediate host long term host the bridging host should be either in the where we are planting sandalwood in same pit Uh, 15 to 20 cm away and here we can plant amaranthus alternanthera kajanus kajan cynodon dactylodon even some people uh, they are planting lantana camera my uh, touch me not everyone know about touch me not and some uh, uh, some vegetables also we can uh, be planting with sandalwood as a bridging host for uh, one year two years or maximum up to three years then intermediate host through any fruit trees that can be planted within 3 3 meter of sandalwood say we can plant papaya we can plant ananas famosa means custard apple tunica granatum we can plant for first 5 to 6 years even uh, uh, our guava um, cedium guzava also we can plant and coming to the forest trees melia dubia cajurina sismania sisban mulberry this type of tree can be planted for first 6 years for long long term host in category of fruits uh, that long term host can be within up to 8 meter and uh, we can plant imlica officinalis that is aula uh, then terminalia uh, tamarindus indica uh, then mangifera indica also we can plant then in forestry we can plant neem some neem uh, neem is the best host for sandalwood as i mentioned earlier pongamia pinata uh, red sandal acacia nilotica that is we know babul it is indian babul we can plant dalberja sisu that is shisam then acacia catechu khair so host to sandalwood desirable ratio is 3 has to 1 or at least 2 has to 1 two host one sandalwood or three host one sandalwood and bad host species as i mentioned earlier eucalyptus teak or sutenia mahogany that is known as mahogany these are the some of the examples from farmers field uh, different hosts are there you see uh, 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 arahar is planted with uh, sandalwood then uh, this uh, agave americana everyone know agave americana used for on boundary basis so uh, sandalwood can grow with agave americana also melia dubia with sandalwood neem with sandalwood may again melia dubia custard apple with sandalwood cajurina with sandalwood papaya with sandalwood again cajurina neem as a direct indica with sandalwood sisbania sisban with sandalwood some planted uh, uh, farmers planted shivan that is white white tea melina arborea with sandalwood some farmers uh, tamarindus indica and uh, go, that is uh, lemon uh, lemon grass lemon grass also planted with sandalwood some farmers planted mango with sandalwood and there is one uh, one some farmers they planted they uh, they kept sandalwood uh, single only the pongamia pinata they planted in the same pit of sandalwood and they are not allowing to grow that pongamia pinata so uh, this type of uh, type of research also going on so coming to the nursery if 
suppose we are not uh, getting sandalwood seedling uh, seedling for planting so we can what we can do there are some uh, government agencies in bangalore and uh, kerala forest division uh, kerala forest uh, department or kerala forest research institute kfri uh, thrissur so we can uh, we can get seeds uh, uh, by paying some amount to them nowadays uh, sandalwood seeds costing almost 3000 rupees for 1 kg now it is uh, for seeds also it is more or uh, suppose if you are not getting seeds from them then you can see in your natural area if there are some good trees which are in uh, almost uh, minimally more than 15 years old so you can collect some seeds uh, i as i mentioned there are two seasons one season in the winter one season during the summer so any one season you can collect seeds then you can uh, Uh, you can treat or you can dry it that seeds under a shade condition you can depulp that uh, seeds by rubbing uh, uh, you put that seeds in water, uh, water and rub with your hands and afterwards for proper germination if you are planting seeds as such the germination is hardly 10 to 15 percentage you you will not get uh, more than that for better uh, higher improved germination we require to treat that seeds with minimum 500 ppm of iba solution uh, ga3 solution gibralic acid solution if 500 ppm gibralic acid solution for 12 hours you are soaking your sandalwood seed in that so sandalwood starts germination after seven after 20 days and that germination will be till sometimes it will be till 150 days but if you are treating seeds with gibralic acid within 70 to 80 days you will get it germination more than 15% and maximum up to 75% then after germination when that seedling is coming 3 to 4 leaf stage you can take it out that seedling you again you treat it with some barbistin uh, fungicide and uh, in root trainers you can Uh, put that seedling, or if you are having already filled uh, uh, poly bags, you can insert there. And red gram, one red gram seed can be planted near two to three centimeter away from the sandalwood seed. And this type of seedling gets ready within six to eight months. And the criteria for selection of uh, uh, the tree uh, sandalwood seedling that is good for uh, field planting is that the stem color changes to the a brownish dark brown color means that seedling should be lignified so planting technique why planting is required like other trees mango or any other plantation simply we are purchasing tree and we are planting in some uh, some spacing so like that also can we do for sandalwood so no it is not possible and majority of plantations farmers they are facing problem there are some private firms they are promoting sandalwood they are asking farmers to plant 400 trees in one acre so it is not possible to plant such a huge amount because sandalwood required a series of host at least minimum two host per tree we need to uh, provide so the planting 400 trees in in a acre it is not permissible and at last we will we will find more mortality and the economic loss will be tremendous that is not comparable so there are five points we need to focus that field planting geometry how to plant in the field so the series of host can be accommodated with our sandalwood tree then selection and nature of host before planting which type of host we are selecting we are selecting mango or we are selecting neem so we need to know what is our purpose how much area we are going to plant and how that host is going to help then the host ratio mentioned earlier then water and nutrient scheduling if we are providing more more water sometimes sandalwood will grow hugely but the hardwood formation will impact so the judicious utilization of water and nutrient scheduling is required and what type of agroforestry model because nowadays farmers uh, land requirement is uh, land is very less and they do not want to uh, put their land for completely for some other purpose they want intermediate yields so by deciding this the farmer should uh, enhance the possibility to do the right thing right thing in a right place in a right way at the right time so four r are more important so how in agroforestry sandal uh, sandal is forming a uh, good species as i mentioned sandalwood can grow on degraded land because it is a hardy species it can grow in rain fed condition where water water requirement is very less for this species then again it's required very less inputs it's requires inputs in the form of host if number of hosts are more it will be coming with uh, good then requires diversified host system see farmers want 
uh, yield from first year, second year, third year, fourth year continuously. And in sandalwood, if we, we are providing first host is our arhar. Arhar means red gram. So red gram is providing some uh, intermediate yield. Similarly, after we are planting papaya, some fruit trees. So fruit trees starts uh, yielding after two years or three years. So again, farmers will be getting some income from that. And we are harvesting sandalwood and other host. That is, uh, we are telling long-term host. Long-term host, suppose we are planting tamarindus indica. Tamarindus indica starts yielding after five years. And we can harvest after sandalwood after 12 years or 15 years. And afterwards, the remaining your tamarindus uh, trees or your mango trees, they can be give, uh, they can be giving yield still 40 to 50 years. Even uh, high demand. Presently, we are having high demand for this. So these are the planting uh, planting geometry that we can plant five into four meter spacing uh, for sandalwood. Sometimes we can go for six into three. Minimum spacing is three into three, but sometimes it hinders. Three into three meter spacing requires uh, your management practices should be very intensive. Intensive management is required. So best one is six into three. If we are going six into three by planting uh, uh, long term host say amla and some short term or mid term host papaya or anything so it can be giving under such situation 6 into 3 meter spacing we can accommodate more than 500 trees per hectare this is not acre this is in hectare basis and 555 host so these are the some of the example how farmers uh, planted their host you see uh, we will take one example of uh, 6 into 5 meter spacing uh, we have planted sandalwood and uh, there are two hosts. One is intermediate host, second one is long term host. These trees are these trees are sandalwood trees. So from sandalwood to uh, Melia Dubia distance is 2.5 meter. And then again from Melia Dubia to sandalwood 2.5 meter. So sandalwood tree is spaced to 5 meter and between two rows distance is 6 meters. And uh, in Twinkles planting say four sandalwood trees, one, two, three, Four. In between that, our one uh, amla tree or uh, neem tree can be planted as a long-term host. If you take from farmer's field, you see the uh, the one of the farmer in Satara district, uh, he is having two years old sandalwood plantation where he has uh, mentioned three into four, uh, three into uh, four meter spacing where uh, row to row three meter spacing and casuarina from one host, intermediate host is casuarina for first six to seven years. From Kajirina to Sandalwood, 2 meter. Again, from this Sandalwood to uh, Nim, again 2 meter. And this Sandalwood in within row, from this Sandalwood to this Sandalwood, it is total 4 meter spacing. So, 3 to 4 meter spacing, Farnus has planted. This is another from uh, uh, Satara district. Uh, this is 5 years old Sandalwood plantation. Uh, Melia Dubia, he is planted only Melia Dubia and Sandalwood. So, distance is 4 into 3 meter. Sandalwood is planted 4 meter between 2 rows. And within row three meter, and uh, Melia dubia and sandalwood is planted in 1.5 meter away. So uh, these are again diversified system where the farmer from Vidarbha region he is planted with four hosts. One is a custard apple, papaya, Melia dubia, and uh, and some uh, some bridging hosts there. And another one is uh, with two hosts. This system is now under study in Tamil Nadu. Uh, this photo is from uh, Tamil Nadu Koyambatur uh, district where uh, sandalwood is uh, uh, filled kept as such with weeds they did not do any type of weeding and in that similar row they have planted pongamia or neem trees and they are not allowing to grow so large number of trees can be accommodated in smaller area so unmanaged systems we have seen till date the managed system suppose we are planting uh, high number of uh, sandalwood, also uh, unwanted uh, host without uh, choosing proper host if we are planting. You see, now here, this is unmanaged plantation. They have planted Melia dubia. Melia dubia is good host, but we need to prune. We need to lock always. So, shading will be less. If shading is more than 50%, sandalwood growth is uneven. It won't be growing good. So, uh, this, you, this photo you can see another right hand side photo where Melia dubia is planted high densely and uh, sandalwood is there. So, somewhere trees are growing good, somewhere trees are not going there is high mortality. So, this type of issues also occurring after 3 to 4 years. So, if you are not taking care at the time of planting, so it will be the huge economic loss to us. So, sandalwood to host ratio, as I mentioned earlier, 
that sand, sometimes sandalwood kills our host and this in reality it is happening if the photo is from akola district of maharashtra the farmer has planted on 8 acres citrus and sandalwood they planted sandal this is a 2 to 3 years old plantation he has planted uh, one sandalwood and one citrus one has to one ratio and what happened you see after 3 3 years sandalwood extracted majority of पानी और उसका न्यूट्रिएंट दे एक्सट्रैक्टेड एंड वो मोर्टेलिटी आ गई 70 परसेंट मोर्टेलिटी रिपोर्टेड इन पर्टिकुलर फील्ड सो चूजिंग प्रॉपर होस्ट इफ यू आर चूजिंग सम होस्ट फॉर अर्ली रिटर्न से सिट्रस इज गिविंग रिटर्न्स आफ्टर टू इयर्स बट सेम टाइम इफ यू आर हैविंग सम नीम ट्रीज और आउला ट्रीज विद दिस प्लांटेशन सो सैंडलवुड कैन बी फुलफिल्ड इट्स ओन रिक्वायरमेंट फ्रॉम दैट दैट थिंग so coming to the input management how to do planting when to do planting what pit size should be required so best season in india for planting is monsoon season july to august we can do planting if we are having proper uh, irrigation facilities so we can have planting up to february or even up to march but based on the in northern condition we cannot do planting after the uh, august or september onwards if we are doing planting in july to august it will be always better for the establishment peat size as i mentioned the sandalwood roots need to form the uh, hosteria connection with the host species so that particular peat size should be more if we are planting in trench it will be always best but a minimum 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter peat size is uh, good then potting mixture soil sand fym 2h to 1h to 1 minimum 15 to 20 kg fym is good and uh, you can uh, use it uh, good uh, well drained soil And at the time of planting, you can use some fungicide like bavistin or chlorpyrifos to reduce the imp- uh, reduce the uh, impact of this termites attack. So you can have it. And irrigation rainy season there is no requirement of uh, p- uh, any type of uh, irrigation if there is uh, uh, no rain particular season. So at least you can uh, provide some more water to the your plants. Winter twice a month. In summer once in a week or 15 days in a week. Uh, in sandalwood presently there is no particular uh, dosage has been finalized and research is undergoing uh, in everywhere so presently suppose we are going for mango or guava with uh, sandalwood so whatever dose we are using for mango or guava the 10 to 15% extra dosage of fertilizer can be used so this uh, this thing can be done then uh, what is happening generally in forestry Uh, forestry there are certain important practices like silviculture practices we are telling one is pruning and one is thinning so jis jaise ki pruning ko hindi mein chhatni bolte hain aur hum jo agriculture ke jo horticulture ke crops hai usme hum jaise gawa ka hai ya custard apple hai we are doing yearly basis uh, heavy pruning to them but in forestry uh, in forestry or say in the example of sandalwood sandalwood main economic part in the main stem and some part of roots so the stem growth is continuous without uh, multiple stems we it will be giving good so for achieving that clear goal uh, growth so we required some uh, pruning so it helps to reduce the growth resources unnecessarily the growth resources are not going in branches it is growing in main stem and it's helping and also the highest price is paid for carving log जो भगवान की स्टैचूज होते हैं वो जो सैंडलवुड से बनाए जाते हैं जैसे गणेश भगवान का है उसके लिए जो कॉस्ट है वो बहुत है जनरली जैसे हमने आई हैव टोल्ड दैट वन टेन ऑफ वन टेन ऑफ सैंडलवुड हर्ट वुड कॉस्ट मोर देन सेवेंटी फाइव लैक बट इफ वी आर गेटिंग द कार्विंग टाइप ऑफ लॉग ऑफ थ्री फीट इन लेन it's costing even double than uh, 75 lakh means it is more up to 2 crores also can be per, uh, faced for a carving type of law so here some good things are there uh, how, how to do pruning and thinning we cannot remove more we need to remove only 30% of the canopy if we are removing more canopy say 50 60% so you see here uh, uh, due to uh, wind flow or even some mechanical activity it's getting breaking and once your tree is breaking your top is getting breaking again it will start branching and branching is not good for getting highest uh, yield so these are the some of the technique how to do pruning uh, multiple stems we need to prune it out if we are doing pruning uh, first 5 years itself most appropriate age for doing pruning is 5 years age and uh, we need to do this pruning either in the winter or in the dry season 
so this will be the helpful so herbwood development uh, now we are coming important aspect that how herbwood is uh, formed you see if we are cutting the any sandalwood tree it will be having like this growth rings or colors so the uh, softer uh, color uh, the faint color is sapwood generally sapwood is uh, not having any much economic uh, use but uh, hindu rituals uh, we know that uh, for uh, funerals we required some sandalwood so this sapwood uh, can be sold more than 100 rupees kg and the the dark portion it is the herdwood and this is actually the herdwood from which we are extracting oil sandalwood oil and there are so many speculations in natural condition this herdwood starts forming after 7 to 10 years age but when we are planting sandalwood in agriculture land uh, it can start producing if there is proper stress condition means we are giving moisture stress good uh, management practices it is possible to uh, start producing herdwood after 4 years itself but again there is uh, no exact reason has till date no one uh, studied why this herdwood uh, start uh, uh, start producing in sandalwood so still it is a uh, work is going on and uh, this uh, general uh, send, general uh, answer they are telling the sapwood those as i mentioned this uh, sapwood light colored portion it's a transformation of sapwood to herdwood like there are uh, if biology students in parenchyma death of parenchyma formation of extractive and enzymatic activity changes and it forms the herdwood so how much yield everyone uh, likes uh, if i have a sandalwood tree so how much uh, yield or how much herdwood can be possible so uh, sandalwood grows at the uh, at the rate of 1 cm per year girth increase uh, her sal wo 1 cm girth increase hoti hai uski natural condition lekin jaise maine bataya if we plant in commercial uh, way uh, 4 to 5 cm girth can be increased generally in natural condition it is proposed to harvest sandalwood after 30 years but in uh, managed plantations or commercial plantations we are harvesting uh, after 10 years or after 15 years so if you see in 10 years sandalwood tree can produce 15 to 20 centimeter diameter so this diameter uh, can give only 1 to 2 kg of herdwood only 1 to 2 kg but similar way if that same tree after 5 years if we are harvesting tree grows up to 30 to 40 centimeter diameter and it can produce 12 to 15 kg herdwood alone sapwood is differently i am speaking about herdwood because it is one of the important uh, commodity and in 20 years uh, that tree can grow up to 50 to 60 centimeter and it can give us uh, 20 to 30 kg of herdwood in similar way after 30 years also we can get it so herdwood percentage these are some of the examples uh, uh, studies in madhya pradesh uh, we will take the example of madhya pradesh some of the trees growing in farmers field and natural condition the sampling were done by vishwanath uh, 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 at all in 2018 and they found that they found that the more than 50 percent of herdwood is formed uh, formed in uh, trees grown in farmers field in different age uh, different diameter classes in similar way you see uh, earlier we used to tell that sandalwood can grow only in karnataka but there are good reports from madhya pradesh even maharashtra even rajasthan punjab you see the good reports coming from punjab that herdwood more than 40 percent of herdwood can form in similar way you see uh, there is one uh, from farmers field they harvested trees uh, importantly uh, the most important point is from root to three to four meter above the soil uh, three to four feet above the soil they are consisting major major percentage more than 60 70 percent of herdwood is found in uh, this section you can see the dark portion is a uh, herdwood and uh, with the help of forest we can harvest the tree and how we are extracting uh, herdwood from uh, herdwood oil from uh, sandalwood herdwood uh, there are different uh, methods hydro distillation or solvent distillation also uh, we can follow and the oil ranges from 1 to 8 percent 8 percent oil getting 8 percent oil is nowadays difficult because uh, we are not having uh, uh, like 30 years 40 years or 50 years uh, ages tree but whatever in 10 to 15 years we can get it 2 to 3 percentage of oil 
and uh, that particular why this sandalwood oil is uh, more important so sandalwood oil consists of two components one is alpha sandalwood and another one is beta sandalwood earlier we, uh, i was telling you that australia also having uh, sandalwood spicatum species but the difference between indian sandalwood and australian sandalwood is that indian sandalwood the sandalwood percentage is more than 90 percentage but in case of australia it is hardly 30 to 40 percent so they are having very less and the market demand more for sandalwood so indian sandalwood is uh, widely preferred and uh, as i told uh, rate earlier we mentioned 2 to 3 lakhs uh, for 1 kg of soy uh, as i mentioned that uh, why we required that uh, uh, this type of uh, statues or carvings uh, can be prepared from heartwood of sandalwood and here are some info see this is from uh, forest department kerala they are uh, giving some oil sandalwood oil and uh, this uh, quantity 5 gram sandalwood oil they are selling at the rate of 1350 rupees then again sapwood you see sapwood earlier i i have mentioned that during hindu rituals we are using for a funeral purpose so uh, 90 rupees for 100 gram sapwood powder and these statues these carvings they are in lakhs so this much huge amount is there earlier in uh, historically or traditionally uh, sandalwood uh, was uh, having 18 different categories of heartwood when we are harvesting trees and the uh, after harvesting when we are extracting the sandalwood heartwood from that main bowl so in different 18 different categories can be made it so first one is vilayati buddha vilayati buddha where uh, we required 9 kg of weight and uh, 9 kg weight and that length should be more than three feet. If like that log we are getting, it is uh, getting almost two times higher price than our normal sandalwood hardwood. So in agroforestry, with the help of some tending operation or pruning operation, uh, judicious management, uh, we are working for getting good quality like class one timber from sandalwood. Again, uh, hardwood content, as I mentioned in different, so hardwood content varies from 0.5 percentage to up to 4.5 percentage in different areas. So this type of studies are helping us that if farmers from non-traditional area, non-traditional area is Madhya Pradesh, Gujarat, even some parts of Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Punjab, they can be going for sandalwood uh, plantation and they can be having ability to earn more income. So these are some of the reported hurdles. We will not go inside. So we will know the some facts about sandalwood. General what facts are there? As I mentioned, sandalwood tree after planting after four to five years, it starts hardwood formation. After 10 years with appropriate host condition, it adds every year minimum one to 1.5 kg of hardwood. 15 kg of hardwood can be obtained in 15 to 20 years. Oil content varies from one to 6.5 percentage and total central oil content in that particular hardwood is 90% in Indian conditions. So there is one financial study carried out by Divakara, uh, IWST again. Uh, total cost they are telling for uh, establishing sandalwood on uh, one hectare uh, cost comes around uh, 30 to 34 lakhs and uh, income can be generated from uh, this sandalwood after 15 years. Uh, it's around uh, 1 to 1.5 crores. So this much huge amount of uh, sandalwood uh, can giving amount but at same time uh, so you see uh, another one estimates from IWST, uh, Institute of Wood Science and Technology, uh, majorly they are working on sandalwood. The cost of cultivation is, uh, comes for one hectare, it is around 30 lakhs rupees for 15 years, uh, 15 years age. And in return, it can give 1.2 crores to 1.5 crores yield. So there are some examples from farmer's field. So uh, one of the farmer from Hyderabad region, uh, his name uh, name was Reddy. In 2000, he planted some 18 trees in uh, uh, on his field. And in 2017, with the forest department permission, he extracted from one one tree. Uh, he got almost 30 kg of hardwood in 18 years. And similar way, he he sold that trees in Hyderabad based on a pharmaceutical company uh, for 6,000 rupees per kg hardwood. And total uh, revenue he got almost 36 lakhs. So this much huge amount from 18 trees he got. Another one example from Maharashtra Jalna district. One of the farmer, he harvested his 11 trees. And for harvesting, 
he arranged you know, one big program where he invited so many farmers forest department people agriculture people and sensitized the farmers that if they can grow sandalwood for 12 years or 15 years they can be easily uh, getting more income in presently in climate change era so coming so risk as we know risk is everywhere or danger is everywhere even for traveling from one place to another place we don't know when something will happen say take example of natural calamities also even human negligence also some fire damages is coming so sandalwood is a precious uh, commodity and it's having uh, their own risk so uh, as i mentioned risk is everywhere so this type of scenario you are finding everywhere in natural grown sandalwood some people they are coming they are boring sandalwood for checking whether the uh, tree going in the wild or any people's uh, uh, farmers field whether they have produced a hardwood they are checking up and if they uh, hardwood is there means they are illegally they are taking up and this type of uh, things are happening so what to do if suppose i want to go for sandalwood plantation what possibility is there i can grow sandalwood very well but suppose after 7 years when hardwood uh, starts preparation and people means the stealers they are coming after 10 years so after 10 years what precaution can be taken to secure the sandalwood from them so there are different things are coming up first one is the solar based uh, fencing this fencing done in uh, satara district by one of the farmer he is having 5 year old uh, fencing then in uh, karnataka iwst campus as they are working on sandalwood they are having many trees so barbed wire they have used uh, some farmers in vellore district they used a cemented uh, uh, tank and they put up that because major economic portion is roots and 3 to 4 feet above about about uh, earth surface so they have they have saving and nowadays they are uh, we can use some cctv cameras and some people they are using uh, dog but recently uh some micro based like uh, we are uh, we are in uh, era of uh, computer uh, uh, artificial intelligence so uh, the iwst they had some mou with hitachi and they are coming with some micro chips so whenever there is attempt on the trees for harvesting the, the uh, alarm will start uh, buzzing up and through this we can be saving our uh, our trees and uh, nowadays in upcoming years uh, there will be the possibility for tree insurance and once that tree insurance comes so there will not be having any uh, much issue and government is working on that aspects so again uh, the the risk what we have seen that is from manual um, risk but coming the australia these pictures are from australia after 1990 Australia started growing Indian sandalwood, Santalum album, as their their own species is having less sandalwood content. So they they have taken our sandalwood and they are planting there. Many big industries from US they are uh, they poured a huge amount of money in Australia for growing sandalwood. And now after 2010, every year they are coming more than 2,000 tons of sandalwood they are producing. And there is a one report from Australia. that in 2040 australia can pr- uh, produce more than 5000 tons of uh, hardwood and it is equal to india and india we need to take care of that if we are uh, we are uh, neg- we are keep going like negligence we are not modifying our uh, policies we are not promoting sandalwood one day will come that sometimes australia will trespass but okay nowadays uh, due to higher amount is involved huge returns are there so india's area under sandalwood is increasing uh, this study uh, study one of the study project projection study carried out by thomson in 2020 uh, that uh, looking ahead global sandalwood production and market in 2040 uh, you see australia and india he has predicted that in 2040 india will produce more uh, almost 8000 tons of uh, hardwood and similar time australia will produce 5000 tons of hardwood at same time indonesia china these are coming up in china last two years back more than 12 lakhs trees they have planted for sandalwood and their research they are doing uh, huge uh, research in sandalwood and they are promoting uh, sandalwood for uh, for short span within 10 years they wanted to harvest similar time african countries also coming up and they are also going for huge large scale plantation 
there was one uh, global sandalwood oil market report 2023 they predicted that the global sandalwood oil market is predicted to double value over the next 5 years to up to usd 197 presently in 2020 96 uh, uh, us dollars million dollars uh, the sandalwood market is there but it is predicted in next 5 years uh, like almost 200 million uh, us dollars so there is a huge things are there and due to all these vagaries that uh, sandalwood glory now government is coming with uh, new rules as i mentioned the constitution of sandalwood high power committee by economic advisory council of the uh, uh, prime minister to promote sandalwood and to see to study to research how it can be promoted on farmers field and how farmers can be benefited similar time uh, the state government like uh, maharashtra they taken lead and uh, forest department of maharashtra they removed sandalwood from scheduled category in maharashtra total 17 trees are there in scheduled category it means that uh, for harvesting of these trees we required the permission from forest department but now they removed sandalwood from that tree so the tree planted by farmer on his own land he can be harvesting without permission again khadi and village industry they are also promoting sandalwood and mof also urged the many uh, many uh, chief minister to deregularize the sandalwood and to promote sandalwood uh, so at last my uh, friends i hope uh, you uh, interested uh, interestingly uh, heard me uh, about sandalwood sandalwood is something new everyone thinks sandalwood means huge money but there are certain difficulties we discussed and uh, for preparation of uh, this uh, presentation uh, i got the help uh, from farmers mostly because majority of uh, pictures i have taken from either uh, myself or i have requested farmers from gujarat maharashtra hyderabad karnataka same time i got the help of uh, shamishwanath he is the person who is working lot on agro uh, sandalwood again uh, some 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 of the material from iwst website uh, my seniors and uh, presently i am working in uh, niasam Uh, so my director uh, for so thank you and now session will be open for your queries thank you very much okay and um, thank you so much sir you share the whose knowledge about the sandals so mm -hmm. i know everyone is a very helpful for the everyone so now is query session is going on if you have some any queries any doubt you can ask any query uh sagar yeah, sir hello no there you Yes, Sagram sir, very nice presentation given by you, and uh, very details with photographs, with uh, evidences of the uh, growers of the farmers. Thank sir, uh, can I uh, buy this plant or this uh, nursery plants for the planting? Yeah, yeah, you can uh, plant it. It is uh, see in Maharashtra if you want to plant from Maharashtra, so College yes. of Forestry uh, under uh, Dr. Bala Sir Sawan Kokan Krishi Vidya Pet. They are having the, their own nursery. and uh, whatever seeds they are using they are, they are using seeds from kerala and karnataka so you will be getting hardly 30 to 35 rupees per seedling 30 to 35 rupees per seedling yeah yeah, yeah. yes sir yes okay. and also very there very are some uh, certain nurseries are available they are also providing uh, quality planting material but you need to check their origin from where they are purchasing uh, seeds because major thing is there here we don't have tissue culture seedlings see tissue culture is not uh means that much uh, useful at mass production we are not doing so 99 more than 99% uh, seedlings from seed origin so okay. it's better if you are having contact iwst website you, you can go and from their sale uh, purchase uh, they are selling seeds also you pay that requisite amount they will uh, by post they will send you seeds and with the help of ib uh, gibralic acid treatment 500 ppm easily you can do it yes sir you have told uh, already, uh, already yes very 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 nice थैंक यू सर 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 सुदीप सर यस सेंडलवुड No, the, what kind uh, of diet are you used for the growth of sandalwood? No, plant growth hormones. You thinking about plant yes. growth hormones? Generally, gibralic acid is used for uh, breaking seed dormancy, 
and uh, that is for uh, only for nursery purpose for uh, improving germination percentage and that is around 500 ppm normal uh, the uh, agri clinic any agri clinic uh, nowadays uh, so many people they are using gibralic acid or uh, iva you can purchase it gibralic acid and that uh, you can make it but uh, before that gibralic acid is not uh, dissolving in water so you use uh, some solvent ethylene or something and uh, by using that you can uh, make it your 500 ppm solution and uh, you soak it that seeds for a minimum 12 hours so it will give you better germination sir no sir i am asking what kind of giverlic acid are used for sandalwood growth what no, kind growth, no. I, actually uh, we are not using any for growth promoting uh, hormones for sandalwood trees we uh, we are using for nursery purpose, for seed, seed germination purpose. Normal gibralic acid, GA3. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, any other participant? Sir? Do you have some query? Yes. I have one question uh, from Afghanistan. Uh, sir, uh, can we plant this uh, sandalwood in Afghanistan? Uh, where we will get this, uh, like the seed and uh, the plantation uh, for sandalwood? See, there are some reports, so it is based on your conditions, what type of your soil condition, your temperature. In India, there is one plantation by forest department in Himachal Pradesh. So, so but we do not know exactly uh, whether they are producing hardwood or not. Till that, there is uh, no study in uh, Himalaya. If in your place, particularly Afghanistan, if the climate is like uh, Punjab or uh, Haryana, you can go it, you can go. And online, you can try it nowadays. So many people they are uh, having seeds, but we cannot say genuineness of that seeds. Oh, uh, yeah, sir, uh, the climate is like uh, in the hot weather, in like in the summer. The climate, uh, the centigrade is almost uh, 31, 32, and uh, sometimes 36. Uh, this is the hot weather, 36. So in winter, uh, there is like almost uh, centigrade is 11 and 12. Uh, it's like a cold. Okay, it's like North India condition, like Punjab or Haryana, or Uttar Pradesh. So no, you no problem. You can plant it and you can try it. Means okay, sir. Least, uh, huh. Yeah, uh, regarding the benefits of the sandalwood, I am really interested in this. So I will request uh, like where I will find those uh, seed in like the plantations uh, seed in crops. Uh, you are having anyone in India who can uh, send you seeds? Actually, we don't do not know that there are certain plant quarantine and other issues uh, will be there. So someone <laughs> has to be there and uh, they can has to take permission. Oh, yes, we have to take permission. There are quarantine laws. Yeah, yeah. They govern the export of uh, seeding material to other countries. And if the planting material satisfies those norms, it can be uh, exported. Okay. So thank you, Dr. So, uh, uh, as an, uh, with the physical joining with my university, I will try to bring some seed and I will try here. Okay, sure, sure. Sure, sure. sure, sure you are welcome, you are welcome. Thank uh, you, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sangram. Thank you, sir. Uh, it has been a very uh, informative uh, session. You have given a very elaborate package of practices of this sandalwood. And I hope our students must have benefited from this presentation. So what I uh, have been uh, able to gather that this uh, plantation can be done in non-forest areas also, like, uh, like bamboo. Uh, and you can introduce this uh, plant in our agroforestry system also. Yes, sir. You see, uh, Dr. Sangram, our institute, Sri Vaishnava Institute of Agriculture, <coughs> it uh, is a, a constituent institution of Sri Vaishnava Vijayapit Vishwavidyalaya. And this, our institution was uh, established in the year 2008, uh, 2018. And since then, we have been uh, working hard for the establishment of its infrastructure and uh, the uh, arranging for field and buildings and laboratories. Uh, on field, we have uh, earmarked a section, a plot for agroforestry. 
there would have grown bamboo but uh, as for today's your lecture we will be certainly introducing the sandalwood also because in uh, madhya pradesh and in indore you have black soils so it is very suitable and the temperature range is also favorable so i think uh, we can go for the plantation of uh, the sandalwood it's also heartening to know that uh, uh the state regulations regarding the felling of the sandwood has been removed so the farmers <coughs> are uh leisure or they have the freedom of felling the trees when they mature when the hardwood is uh, established in the tree so i think uh, our students must have benefited from your lecture uh, thank you thank you very much dr sangram very nice dr thank sangram sir uh, thank you again thank you dr sangram and now i have invited dr subodh agarwal good morning ma'am good afternoon sir i'm um, good afternoon and uh, good initially afternoon. Uh, uh, initially i will started the brief little bit uh, introductions about dr subodh agarwal he is a assistant professor the agri business management department of business management of ccs hiu haryana agriculture university hisar ठीक है ही डिड बी एस सी हिज ही डिड बी एस सी एग्री बिजनेस इन एम बी एज अ डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ द बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर सी सी एस एच यू हिज आर एंड ही इज ऑल्सो द मास्टर्स इन सी सी एस एच यू एंड नाउ ही इज परसुइंग द पी एच डी इन अगेन इन बी एस सी सॉरी सी सी एस एच यू सो ही हैज लॉर्ड्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन अ नाइन ईयर टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस एंड द टू ईयर द असिस्टेंट मैनेजर एग्री बिजनेस इन बैंक ऑफ बड़ोदा सो नाउ I am hand over the today's session to Dr. Subodh Agarwal. Please over it, sir. Thank you, thank you, Dr. Anu. And thank you so much, sir. First of Welcome. all, I res respected Dr. Vinod Dhar, sir, Dr. Yuvraj, sir, Dr. Ashish, sir. I heartily welcome, sir. I am very much thankful to Dr. Anu who gave the chance to me interact you with this prestige institute and with students of this institute. myself subodh agarwal i am working as a assistant professor agri business in ccs hu isar from 2011 after the after completion of my mba in agri business business i joined bank of baroda in district nainital haldwani i served with bank of baroda for 2 years from 2009 to 2011 so today my top my topic of presentation of works in workshop is opportunities in agri business so first of all i will share my ppt yeah oh my ppt is visible sir Yes, sir. It's yes, sir. Yes, yeah, visible. it's visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's visible, sir. Okay, okay. So, first of all, I'll uh, start with agribusiness. Uh, All you know, agribusiness. Yes. Yes. Yes, Anu. Ma'am, you have come mute. Anu, ma'am, are you? Okay. You? Nothing, sir. Nothing, sir. Now it's clear. No, mic. Mic is not mute. my voice is audible to all of you my yes, voice yes, is audible yes, yes, okay 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 yes yes sir yes sir so first of all i will give up the brief about the agri business you all know agri business what is agri business agri business is the movement of farm produce from the point of production to the consumption with the involvement of lot of intermediaries and lot of operations like packing transportation grading sorting etc so the agri business concepts revolve around the activities of commercialization of agriculture which refers to market orientation of agriculture production and marketing process it is the management that derives and direct the farm from farm and food companies that come together in the whole agri business system you all knows earlier days what we are doing in the area of agri business before independence we are we all are following barter system means exchanging of goods without in terms of money okay because 
nowadays we if one farmer grows wheat and one farmer grows rice so what they are doing they are exchanging the wheat in terms of rice without the exchanging of money but nowadays we, we need a transformation of traditional agriculture to agri business means nowadays we need to need a subsistence to commercial farming because uh, uh, in current scenario farmer is not only doing for uh, agriculture work farmer is, is working as a commercial purpose farmer is doing agriculture for commercial oriented orientation what we are doing in this in the transformational process production process production production for production we need land we need land and labor environment and then ultimately consumption earlier days farmer is using the available inputs like seed is retained by the farmer as a farmer is using cow dung manuals for fim farm yard manures as a fertilizer but nowadays we need after the green revolution in india we need some hybridized seeds we we are using the fertilizers chemicals for increasing the for increasing the production and productivity of our agricultural crops and far, nowadays farmer is expanding farmer and lot of a lot of uh, research industries or lot of agriculture agriculture sector industries spend their money in development of research and education means in breeding for development of new varieties agronomic requirement for proper development of the agriculture crops we need agronomic practices and package and practices pest and disease management pest and disease management pest because nowadays you know there are a lot of diseases and pest attack will come up in the field because due to the resistance of resistance developed in insects and pests so for this yes yes please my voice is audible asudi uh, yes sir some... i think it is audible yes sir it's yes. audible sir no, part participants are requested not to put on their mics you the question answer session will be at the end of the presentation please yeah please thank you sir thank you so for this we need management in agriculture sector mechanization you all knows demand and population of agricul in agricul in our agrarian country is increasing day by day for this we need lot of labor for cope up this scarcity of labor we need mechanization we need processing processing means for the develop for the conversion of raw form to eatable form we need processing and for this main thing we need extension because our in agriculture universities are developing lot of varieties lot of technologies in the current scenario in the current era of globalization but for transfer transformation of this information from university research system to farmers field we need extension and feedback from the farmers for this all our transformation process we are using production process further in production process we need land labor environment machinery chemical irrigation system you know our nowadays uh, scarcity of water is also a big problem and drainage so for this we need drip irrigation system sprinkler irrigation system instead of flow system okay the main aspect every farmers in a position to grow the crop but main thing where the farmer is lacking where we are lacking in in case of traditional agriculture we are lacking in marketing process so that is the main main thing we need to shift from traditional agriculture to agri business because for this you know storage a lot of commodities lot of agriculture commodities are highly perishable so they are not easily in a position the farmer itself is not in a position to store these commodities More, majority of the agriculture commodities require processing in case of cereal pulses packaging sometimes packaging is also an important aspect because lot of a lot of pulses and lot of cereals are affected by the moisture if we are not packing in a good manner we are we are increasing the chances of in the chances the chances of moisture content increasing the moisture content and chances of rotten transportation you know in our country there are different very varied 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 climate of crops is grown in different different areas like apple is grown in himachal citrus is grown in nagpur 
wheat is grow uh, like uh, your sugar cane is grown in up so but the demand of the agriculture commodity is throughout the country so we need proper transportation so that our far, our total population or, or each and every one living in our country will get the good quality produce agriculture produce at every place of our country so main thing is marketing you all knows marketing is the movement of farm produce from the point of production to the consumption everyone is means a har, farm farm gate means output of farmer is we are using at a dinner plate so we need the whole transformation from agri traditional agriculture to agri business for ultimately to reach the end users for the consumption purpose so the agri business consists of these are the in agri business sector there are the different different opportunities in different different areas first one is that we will discuss about the processing sector in case of processing sector we are in a position to uh, process the agriculture fruits and vegetable because some fruits and majority of the fruits and vegetable is in, uh, we are using in processed form like pickle, pickles jam jelly like that juices candies sugar cane is used is used for making sugar and, and pulses and cereals we are using after processing herbal and medicinal plants needs processing for making some medicinal purpose dairy products like we are using dairy products we are not directly consuming da uh, some different dairy berry products we are using pro we need some processing for conversion of dairy product into some valuable product like cheese like like a khoa like that poultry and livestock poultry and livestock is also itself require processing so in case of processing sectoral in the area area of agri business lot of opportunities for our youngsters for our young entrepreneurs our young agriculture graduates who wish to st start up their skill startups and start to start up their ventures in case of agriculture processing sector in case of infrastructure sector cold chain some majority of the some of the majority of the agriculture products require cold chain storage and warehousing like our agriculture crops like potato needs storage apple needs storage some some kind of fruits and vegetable and some kinds of other agriculture products required specialized transportation services packaging required so such type of infrastructure is very much in, in, required for the development of the agri business sector and there are ample opportunities in this sector trade and other trade and other sector procurement like milk procurement like fruits and vegetable procurement there are a lot of big houses are come up in the area like adani holes adani retail like big bazaar reliance retail these are also these are procuring from agriculture commodities from directly farmers like lehar pepsico retailing in the sector of retailing we are very uh, there are a lot of opportunities hr and capacity building in agri business this also this sector is also emerging sector in the area of agri business and next is the production sector in case of production sector high yielding seeds you know majority of the farmers are using nowadays high yielding seeds hybrid seeds high quality planting seeds so if we are doing business of seed processing this is a very good opportunity for the farmers and for our prospective entrepreneurs materials nurseries in the lot of uh, lot of agriculture uh, crops are developed through nurseries like orchards organic farming in the area of organic farming everyone is nowadays is health conscious so we uh, if we are we, you you growing organic products organic uh, commodities agriculture commodities organically there is diff huge demand of agriculture commodities microbial culture and vermi ver and vermi compost and in case of floriculture floriculture sector is a very important sector in agriculture sector so these are the basic agri business opportunities in the area of agri business and these are the agri export zones in india in different different states like first of all i will starting from top to bottom jammu and kashmir apple and walnuts is grown in case of uttarakhand basmati rice aromatic and medicinal plants flower lyse uttar pradesh basmati rice mangoes potato vegetable sikkim flowers cherry pepper ginger assam ginger jharkhand vegetables west bengal pineapple lychee darjeeling tea vegetable mango potatoes odisha ginger and turmeric andhra pradesh vegetables mango pulp grapes 
gherkins gillies mangoes tamil nadu flowers mango cashew nut cut flowers kerala horticultural products and medicinal plants madhya pradesh onion garlic seeds spices lentil wheat organ orange germs and potatoes germs and potatoes karnataka chickens rose onion flowers vanilla maharashtra grape grape wine mangoes flowers kesar mango onion bananas orange pomegranate gujarat mangoes vegetable sesame seeds and onions rajasthan coriander and cumin bas punjab basmati rice vegetable potato himachal pradesh is apple okay these are the export zones in india set up by the government where where this is the commodities is grown so first of all i will tell you the the main thing is there are a lot of opportunities in agri business sector in agriculture sector but we need to transform agriculture into agri business with the help of such type of op opportunities in the field of processing in the field of development of infrastructure in the field of development of research and development because you know earlier days what we are facing the problem the farmers are exploited by the middlemen okay and i will give you the one example of uh, one example in case of himachal pradesh i think everyone knows i think you all knows him in himachal apple is grown and apple is a seasonal in the month of july august we are harvesting apple but you know the consumption of apple is throughout the year nowadays we are eating apple in the month of december january what do you think this is fresh apple or this is stored apple anyone will tell this is stored apple sir stored apple. yeah yeah this is stored apple in himachal three units set up by adani agri fresh what they are doing they are procuring apple in the month of july august july august at a 30 rupees 28 to 30 rupees kg from farmers okay and they are storing apple for 4 to 5 months in a controlled atmospheric storage in Ad adani set up three units one unit in jubbal second in rodu third in is in kinnor 6000 metric ton units hai each and uh, total 18000 metric ton units set up by adani the storage cost of 1 kg of apple for 4 to 5 months is 30 rupees per kg they are procuring apple from farmers 28 to 30 rupees per kg golden delicious apple and royal apple golden and royal both two two varieties and we are purchasing these apple from market in a 150 to 200 rupees per kg in off season okay so farmers are not in a position to set up such type of units but farmer is getting only 30 rupees means 20 20% of the consumer price farmer is getting and who is actual producer of the crop is getting near about 20 to 30 25 rupees percent uh, 25% of the consumer rupee if farmer will unitedly jointly form such type of organization and set up their units such type of procurement units and be, farmer will start some f start some fpos farmer production organizations because in farmer producer organizations government is providing near about 70 to 80% subsidies for setting of cold chain for setting of in creating infrastructure so farmer is also in a position to become an entrepreneur and like i will give one example similarly my one colleague uh, he is pass out from pant nagar agri business he started their ca storage in kashipur in Utt uttarakhand okay he procure apple from himachal pradesh and what is the main thing under this farm adani procuring apple from farmers 30 rupees he procuring apple from farmers at 40 rupees okay in directly in kashipur and he sell their produce to entire uttarakhand and up area and earlier uttarakhand and up farmers uh, purchasing set that produce from azadpur mandi 
but now it is azadpur mandi delhi but now it is farmers of up uh, farmers and wholesale sorry wholesalers of up and uttarakhand procuring app, purchasing apple from kashipur means farm uh, and wholesalers will also get benefit of freight because earlier they are purchasing from azadpur so he both majority of the wholesaler will paid freight to delhi from up to uttarakhand up uttarakhand to delhi but nowadays they are getting the benefit of freight and they are getting same quality produced at a 90 to 100 rupees kg from kashipur so there are a lot of opportunities in the area of agri business so i'll back to my presentation Unique dimensions of agribusiness, product characteristics, high, agriculture sector, agri, majority of the agriculture communities are highly perishable. Raw material is easily available, but more bulky in nature, means transportation is very difficult, means transportation is very costly. Uncertain quantity and quantity and quality, like industrial products, like toothpaste, the quality is not uniform and quantity is not uniform some there are different different sizes of quality agriculture products like like case of mango some mango small size some mango medium size some mango large size but they are the shape and size of the mango is not same and uniform in each lot production characteristics agriculture communities are highly seasonal small scale because our farmer is our small and marginal farmer so the small scale production and scattered production some farmer is growing in different village, some commodities, some farmers is growing different commodities in different village. Specialized farming, consumption characteristic is different, continuous. You know, in case of agriculture sector, what we, we are doing, we are consuming the, we need tomato, we need throughout the year, we need potato throughout the year, we are consuming rice throughout the year, we are consuming wheat throughout the year because wheat is a staple food but you know there is production is not continuous but consumption is continuous so i will share you one success story of shri hkl chadda ji chadda of seed farm chakulwa haldwani the farmer is now it is farmer is 96 year old mr hkl chadda he started growing for agri a papaya from in Papaya in 1947. What he is doing? He is growing papaya in 48 acres of land. But he is not selling papaya to anyone. What he will do the papa, for papaya? Uh, what he will do after papaya growing papaya? Anyone will tell? He is not selling papaya to anyone. But what he is doing? Sir, oh, yeah. Sir, घर पे खा लेते हैं घर वालों को खिला देते होंगे he give to his own family 48 acres का पपाया घर वालों को खिलाएंगे सुदीप सरकार सर ऐसे तो मत करिए anyone will tell तो पड़ोसियों में पड़ोसियों में बांट देते होंगे चलिए मैं आपकी बात मान लेता हूँ लेकिन हाँ please कोई और बताएंगे इसमें uh, sir, maybe if the activity is non-economic, so then uh, he will make charity and this no, 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 no. Activity is totally economic. He is a 48 acre of landlord. He is growing papaya in 40 acres of land. And he is growing dwarf variety of papaya. That is one year crop. Okay. And one, then, acre, uh, one sir, plant of papaya, I will tell you, one plant's papaya yield is approximately one quintal. So what he is doing after growing papaya you all are becoming an agriculture graduate sir, in one or two years so it's a, maybe sir uh, maybe he uh, has created coal houses for later uh, um, selling or for the no, presenting no, no, to no, the market no no, 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 no. i will tell you i will tell you both of you he is selling seeds of papaya he is selling seeds of papaya he is not selling papaya okay 10 gram of seeds per two, 200 rupees per 10 gram. He is selling seeds of papaya. And after that, he sell he is selling pulp to some processing industries. Got it my point? 
वन पपाया yes. इज हाउ मच ट्वेंटी रुपीज थर्टी थर्टी रुपीज फोर्टी रुपीज बट वन पपाया से टेन ग्राम सीड्स तो मिलता है ना सो टेन ग्राम ऑफ सीड्स टू हंड्रेड रुपीज ओके नाइस आइडिया और नॉट He is selling pulp to the processing industries. Some processing industries based is based on Haridwar. Okay. After that, what he is doing? He is doing intercropping. Sir, your voice is not clear. Like haldi and wheat. He is yes. No, no, uh, voice is not clear. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. What I will do? Here is sir, the connectivity. Sir, that will be issue for your side. Okay. 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 Now, clear voice is not. My voice Sometime is audible or breaking, not? Sir. Sometime, Sometime breaking. breaking. Sometime, sir. Now clear. Yes, sir. Okay. He is growing intercropping wheat and haldi in between papaya. Okay, I will show you some pic if I have. No, I don't have pic. okay later on i will share you pick so but in case of agriculture is agriculture business is very lucrative if we are seeing the farm of chadda chadda farm we will thought everyone will thought i will be the why mai yahan pe kyu nahi hu matlab is position mein mai kyu nahi hu jo chadda ji jaise grow kar rahe hain but agriculture sector lot of risk is involved lot of uncertain risk is involved like you know you are face, uh, we are facing the corona problem covid problem from last two years you know last two year one farmer mr balbir kamboj based on uttarakhand he is a very renowned farmer floriculturist he is a very renowned floriculturist i will show you the pics of that farm he is mr balbir kamboj and his wife and his daughter he is a very renowned floriculturist he is growing gerbera gerbera gladiolus roses but due to severe problem of in, uh, corona what is this what this happen they are not in a position to sell their flowers he is growing near about uh, in 15 acre gerbera lilium gentidacea cut roses but due to un due to matlab due to due to uncertain risk he is not in a position uh, attack uh, ye uh, covid problem he is not in a position to sell their produce in a market so the whole totally produ totally production of floriculture floriculture production rune sara unhone jo tha production usko damage karna pada unko gayon ko khilana pada sometimes similarly like mushroom farmers in haryana there are lot of mushroom growers they are pro, they are canning the mushroom and selling to the big big resorts big big restaurants but due to the problem of corona all of the resorts restaurants will shut down and this will problem created uh, this pro due to this problem he is not in a the both majority of the mushroom growers are not in a position to sell their mushroom similarly the farmers floriculture farmers are not in a position to sell their flowers in a market because due to problem of corona there is no uh, marriage mar all marriages are very limited gathering is very limited so For flowers are used for the aesthetic purpose flowers are used not in a position to flowers are used in temples so some agriculture farmers are very much problem faced by the very much different different problems but some farmers are growing do, uh, doing traditional like wheat and rice like vegetables they are in a position to sell their produce but agriculture is a very lucrative there are lot of opportunities in the sector of agri business but it's my opinion to all of you if you are agriculture graduates you will do something new so i will share you some another success stories of mr dharamveer singh 
is a successful entrepreneur and entrepreneur through innovation in 2004 dharamveer got the opportunity to visit aloe vera and amla processing unit in rajasthan along with a group of farmers through the department of horticulture he decided to develop his own machine in april 2006 dharamveer was ready with the first prototype of machine which was used mainly for extraction of aloe vera juice he further modified the machine and transformed it into a multi-purpose machine for processing several herbs and farm produce. It can be used for processing mango, amla, aloe vera, tulsi, ashwagandha and flowers like roses, chameli, lavender. His multi-purpose machine is available in two models with juice extraction capacity of 50 kg per hour and 150 kg per hour. Mr. Dharamveer Singh is nowadays a very good entrepreneur. He he united with the, he united with the near about 1000 farmers through farmer producer organization potato this is the success story of potato puppet making by kashi vishwanath farmer producer organization varanasi these are the ladies you jointly form a one fpo in kashi in rustampur village at varanasi organization members initially carried out a market survey to assess the demand of local handmade potato puppet the organization members contacted a couple of local retail shops for supplying homemade puppet. The FPO, Farmer Producer Organization, succeeded in obtaining a demand for 200 kg of potato puppet. For the supply a week time, they decided to produce puppet for 20 quintals of potato, potato puppet initially and then introduced them in the local market for sale. The potato sold, puppet sold, for one rupees 150 per kg to the shops as against cost of production of rupees 108.5 per kg of puppet. The FPO has decided to engage 150 farmers in potato puppet making in coming period and the FPO will take care of potato puppet marketing. Additionally, farmers now are planning to go for value addition to other vegetables like production of pickles, tomato, ketchup, etc. Similarly, one case study in case of FPOs is wholesale counter of vegetable sale by Rameshwar producer, farmer producer organization. The company established a whole outlet at Raja Talab Mandi, Varanasi to facilitate the sale of farmers vegetable produce. Earlier farmers sell vegetables to the local mandis, local middlemen and farmers needed to pay 6% as commission to the wholesaler to sell vegetables. Since January 2016, a total of 200 shareholders of the FPO have been supplying vegetables regularly to the wholesaler counter, wholesale counter owned by the FPO. Additionally, about 550 non-shareholders from the village also sell vegetables through the wholesale counter. Major vegetables supplied by the farmers including cabbage, cauliflower, radish, pea, brinjal, tomato, cucumber, bottle guard, ladyfinger and other seasonal vegetables. The FPO has supplied appointed one counter sales executive and supporting staff on a monthly remuneration for managing the operation. Electronic weighing machine are also used by the FPO to weigh. The vegetables are transported to the counter in the common vehicle from the village and only one farmer visit the mandi and return with the small am sale amount. This way the rest of the farmer save their time. The farmer have hired a permanent vehicle to carry vegetables to Monday and the transport cost has reduced by 20 percent percent during 13 months the wholesale counter has sold varieties of vegetables with worth rupees of 25.50 the average value of vegetables sold is rupees 6500 per day with 120 with 15 to 20 quintals of vegetable so there are a lot of opportunities in the sector of agribusiness. So if the farmers will form a such type of FPOs, means FPOs is the latest version, latest form of cooperatives, latest form of SSGs, latest form of joint liability group. So the main reason of starting of FPOs is government wants to farmer become an entrepreneur successful entrepreneur and the main thing is elimination of the middleman from the wholesale whole marketing chain.
so if the farmer will get the, become an entrepreneur he will he is he first he will be he will get good remuneration he will fetch good uh, handsome amount of their agriculture produce nowadays farmer is uh, we have earlier earlier i have discussed nowadays the farmer is getting only 25 to 25 percent of rupees in consume 25 percent of rupees in consumer share but if the farmer will start such type of venture if the farmer will start such type of production of agriculture commodities if the farmer will tie up with big houses and start contract farming with the with big houses farmer will fetch good remuneration and farmer will will earn good amount and farmer will help in source good source of good source of livelihood to their families and farmer will become a good prospects so my thing i think if all of you agriculture graduates will get an uh, get an admission in agri business sector and get, get become an entrepreneur and will get some will start some small ventures or will start some startups you will be a, in a good position and if our agriculture economy ultimately if it will be it will contribute in our agriculture development and agriculture economy so i think that's all for from my side and house is open for queries if any query please ask students Hello. if any yes Hello. yes ma'am yes ma'am thank thank you so much sir, for the topic and anyone students any participants do you have yes. some query related to this session sir yes, yes please yes sudeep sir uh, which which state is the largest producer of papaya and what uh, how much income he get, that state gets from the papaya that state farmers get from the papaya which state is higher producer of papaya yes sir yes and how much income yes, so the if that you are growing part. papaya normally if you are growing papaya normally you will not get good amount because papaya is a highly perishable crop okay but if you are doing entering in seed business and you are selling the nursery uh, tra, tra, uh, you are selling the seedling of papaya to farmers and you are creating awareness about the papaya seed marketing papaya seed marketing or papaya seed plantation in farmers in your area okay in if your area is suitable for papaya cultivation you will succeed you will get good uh, good uh, good agri business sector good agri business uh, opportunity in in development of papaya in growth of papaya in production of papaya uh, uh, sir i have one question uh, yes. regarding that uh, the cold storage or cold house for uh, continue uh, production of uh, agri business like the tomato and potatoes uh, so uh, in onions should we create one cold house for everything like uh, those thing that is continually used yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i will tell you there are a lot of schemes offered by the ministry of processing ministry of food processing in the development of cold houses i will share you one website on this website there are a lot of processing all each and every processing the processing process is given each and every facility is required for the infrastructure development is given iift indian institute of food processing technology site is site hai isko aap visit karenge is pe aapko total information mil jayegi ki aapko kaun kaun sa business aap start kar sakte hain yes yes sorry sir kamal uh, i have just uh, asked this question for afghanistan like in afghanistan do you continue production of agriculture in agri business is available but later on there is uh, product like the continue product is very high much prices you should yeah. pay high much so yes, then yes, sir, uh, what right. we should do like as like i am a bba graduate but now doing my mba with uh, agri business uh, from central university of punjab so what we should okay. to do for that to saving later the seasonal uh, products for a higher uh, thing in the later on in the seasonal this is the main thing seasonality is the main problem in agriculture sector so for procuring we need infrastructure so it will be up to you how you will start your venture and which commodity from which commodities you will start your venture 
लाइक द कंटिन्यू प्रोडक्ट्स द कंटिन्यू प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर लाइक ऑनियन एंड पोटैटो इज नॉट पॉसिबल ना इट इज इट इज टोटली सीजनल वेदर बस वन वन ऑप्शन इज पॉली हाउस प्रोडक्शन वन ऑप्शन इज पॉली हाउस प्रोडक्शन इन सम केस सम वेजिटेबल्स फॉर पॉली हाउस प्रोडक्शन वी विल यूज द मेथड ऑफ प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स फॉर कंटीन्यूअस प्रोडक्शन यस yeah protein that uh, we saving onions for later on or uh, tomatoes so so we must uh, create our cold house for onion or potato yes bilkul you should create it is feasible you should you should be having a processing plant you should be having cold storage so you need to uh, build infrastructure first infrastructure yes if you are doing it on your own if you are not doing it on your own you can uh, go for what is available by the yes, on rent higher basis, rent basis. Rent basis. yes yes got it clear okay any other query you see uh, what is your question agarwal yes yes sir please yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes sir yes uh, mr sahim please ask your question uh, uh uh it was a very good presentation thank you very much sir and the thank one you, uh, farmer who was growing uh, the cultivating the flowers and now yes, you yes, say yes. that uh, he is not a having a good market yes. because of covid 19 so i was yes. not able to catch the point how his business is running now if you have any information we now it is he is running good now it is i will share you my one uh, article on your group okay i have written one article on floriculture sector that is published in india agriculture today i will share you but nowadays farmer is uh, doing well but main thing is uh, that that time farmer is, is doctor yes. uh, swood his question is relevant he says since he was in the cultivation of flowers and because of uh, such uncertainties he could not sell yes those yes sir products in the market so how did he sustain sir this is the major problem he faced that's why i said it is very it is uncertain risk because that farmer is uh, start pre prepared well for selling their produce in the month of uh, march 2019 and actually he, because of uh, yeah, covid he is in a position the businesses the businesses have been impacted yeah, badly so but that's there this is the ultimately burden he borrowed some money from his friends relatives there is no other way i requested from government so give some subsidy some uh, compensation some concessions some insurance amount but nice. government is uh, trying but he is not getting good insurance is uh, insurance would thank you uh, sir cover, i, I will was... uh, this thing yeah. insurance will not cover this thing yes 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 insurance yes. covers uh, okay. damage to crop damage to crop yes. yes sir yes yes sir but not the marketing okay yes, thank you sir marketing. i i think uh, i was expecting that he is now looking for an alternative that we have a pandemic <laughs> of covid 19 and yeah, uh, alternative but uh, business online business so i was thinking i, I will hear something like that everyone thinking is alternative but uh, it is not certainly, easy certainly it's certainly but... every sector every yeah. sector has been impacted by this uh, uh, pandemic yes so you cannot help it yes thank you sir yes, sir any query sir, yes sir sir what kind of which uh, which farmers what which uh, which farmers have faced the lot most losses in covid 19 majority of the farmers growing like such type of commodities like floriculture sector mushroom production like that you see uh, the perishable items yes, like mushrooms perishable. tomatoes yes. in general vegetables related to so they, yes. see, since they are perishable so there wasn't any market available so yeah. those farmers have really been uh, impacted by the this pandemic you cannot help it highly perishable yes sir yes sir sir majority of the f uh, population stored wheat rice r grain f uh, pulses at their own houses ah, yes because oh, yeah. they, they are not perishable yeah. items yeah. they can be stored yes they can be stored yes sir so sir. majority of the highly perishable growers will affect 
सर सर द फार्मर हु आर हु रिसाइड एट फार अपार्ट फ्रॉम हु हु ट्रांसपोर्ट देयर प्रोड्यूस टू अदर स्टेट्स और द स्टेट्स फार अवे फ्रॉम देयर स्टेट्स लॉट ऑफ दे फेस लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स आई हैव स्टडीड इन न्यूज़पेपर यस इन कोविड-19 yes means the the farmers are from madhya pradesh they are very easy. it is very easy for them to transport the transport their produce in the madhya pradesh in the different villages or uh, towns of madhya pradesh but the, those the farmers which, who are from west bengal or from punjab or from bihar they had faced lot of problem to transporting covid 19 any every I, every every farmer is facing problem during this situation because transportation is also affected due to corona okay sir but so, whole india will suffer whole india even whole world is suffering world, 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 whole world, world, world is suffering due to this covid pandemic our export is stopped our import is stopped in the era of globalization so i think whole world is suffering because mr fridul is from afghanistan nowadays we are not in a position to import dry fruits so mm-hmm. my one friend is doing business of dry fruits in afghanistan so i am discussing with he is facing lot of problems lot of import export restrictions quarantine problems so whole world is suffering due to this pandemic in transportation yes any other query uh, sir but uh, people can yes sir, but people me. Yes, sir. But people can say can can sell their produce. Uh, but the farmers can sell their produce in their own village or own uh, own town or or their neighbor towns or to their neighbor see, towns. See, yeah, local, local. You, you, you have you have, and, you, have yes. you have different apps available. You have e yes, yes, yes. You can uh, auction. You can put your commodity on auction throughout the world. Yeah. There is no even, restriction. Even local retailer will sell their their uh, vegetables. Through apps, through online, yeah. book, through bookings. Yes, in, yes, yes. In in small cities, even even in there small are, there cities. There are so many apps. There are so yes. many apps. Marketing app, apps. Yeah. That can even be app, fresh used. vegetable app. There are a lot of apps. You can book and you will get the fruits and vegetable. Yeah. Yes. You see, uh, uh, Mr. Subodh Agarwal. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please, sir. We at our institute. uh since it was started in 2018 and we have been uh, working relentlessly to build the infrastructure right sir right sir and our first batch uh, is passing out in uh, july june july uh, 22 yes sir yes sir as per icar as since you are from the agriculture back, uh, background right sir in their final year the students have to take up a students ready program Yes, yes, sir. In seventh semester, they have railway yes, and AIA, yes, sir, yes, and in the eighth semester, they have hands-on training. Hands-on, yes, sir. Real experiential real, real, learning. Yes, yes. So we That's have amazing. started at our own farm. Uh, right, sir. Uh, four modules. Okay, sir. Uh, first one is uh, mushroom cultivation and spawn production. Right, sir. The second is vegetable production. Right, Third sir. Third is seed production. Right, commercial sir. seed production. Right, sir, and right, the fourth sir. one is vermi compost and vermi wash. Very nice, sir. And we have been offering to our students the agribusiness management course and right, lecture sir. course that we offer. Okay, so they have a. We have been giving them uh, them the uh, exposure towards uh, agribusiness. What this agribusiness yes, means. Yes, sir. And how they can uh, start up. their own enterprise they can right, be sir. the entrepreneurs right sir. they can be the uh, service providers right sir right instead sir. of service seekers they can be service providers service so provider bilkul yes right, so these all the four uh, modules that we have on our farm are looked after and taken care of by the students themselves right, so sir. they have right, practical sir. knowledge they have right, hands on training they learn Right, every sir. aspect of cultivation and marketing also you have covered yes sir so we have given them the ex- this exposure so that right, they are ready they are right, ready sir. for if they take up employment or they start up their own venture right sir right so sir so how this is how we are just planning our right sir uh and any more questions from the other uh, participants yes please if any query please ask 
do you have any queries any participants sir freely to ask any questions sir yes sir bolie haan ji please sir which, which crop gives highest income which crop production can give highest income which crop are you student, are you student of all agriculture Yes, it's a first year student, sir. It's a newly joined. Yes. <laughs> so you will, you will, by the course of this, <laughs> your study, you will just know which is the most uh, profitable crop, which yields more, and which has a good market price. Sir, 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 it will totally depend on the farmer. Every commercial cash crop is profitable. Yeah. But it is totally depend really. on the farmer. How he will produce? How he will marketed his products? Produce. अपने आप को बेचने का तरीका आना चाहिए ना सर हर इंसान कामयाब हो सकता है. अभी आपको बेचने का तरीका आना चाहिए. First workshop was on sandalwood. Yes. It's good. It's very very money fetching venture. आप देखिए ना. Small cultivation. Yes sir. Small cultivation. Yes sir. Walnuts, dry fruit. You see, they have so many. Um, um, products, agriculture products that fetch you good money. Yes, every agriculture sector of business is very uh, much lucrative and very much profitable. Oh, yes. If you are drawing, doing proper practice, you adopting proper practices. If you are doing proper packaging, means packaging mm. is also lucrative. आप ये देखिए ना लेज खाते हैं, आप लेज खाते हैं twenty two hundred ग्राम के लेज में कितने pieces होते हैं और वो packing में इतना बड़ा दिखता है. <laughs> आप उसको जब फोड़ते हैं तो थोड़े से निकलते हैं इट्स ए आर्ट प्रोसेस वैल्यू है यस बिकॉज़ दैट इज नॉट पेरिशेबल उसका जो शेल्फ लाइफ है yes. बढ़ गया जब शेल्फ yes, लाइफ बढ़ गया तो नेचुरली उसका वैल्यू भी यस पोटैटो चिप्स बनाया और वो मार्केटिंग उसका तो आप पोटैटो से भी बहुत कुछ कर सकते हैं टोमेटो से भी कर सकते हैं टोमेटो प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं प्रोसेस कर रहे हैं कैंड कर रहे हैं कैंड कर रहे हैं टिन फ्रूट्स यस तो प्रोसेसिंग तो इसीलिए है मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्मॉल एंड मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस जो है एमएसएमई यस सर यस हां वो तो इसीलिए है तो गवर्नमेंट आई है काफी स्कीम्स है काफी स्कीम्स है जो कि आप एंटरप्राइजर को प्रमोट कर रही है यस यस यू हैव टू यू हैव टू यूटिलाइज दोस स्कीम्स इवन मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर की काफी स्कीम्स है बहुत सारे स्कीम्स है राष्ट्रीय कृषि विज्ञान विज्ञान योजना विकास योजना के तहत दो हजार ग्यारह बारह में आया था नेशनल वेजिटेबल इनिशिएटिव फॉर अर्बन क्लस्टर्स उसमें वेजिटेबल कल्टीवेशन को प्रमोट किया गया right, और उसी में फार्मर प्रोड्यूसर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन भी बनाई गई right, और उसी तहत जो वैल्यू चेन है उसको कैसे स्ट्रेंथन किया जाए right, और सेफ uh, क्या होंगे Welcome. From farmers' field to uh, the mandis, yes, yes, big mandis. How is it transported? How is it refrigerated vans? For the subsidy, it is given. Absolutely. If perishable items are, then actually they, they can be transported in the refrigerated vans only. So, all right, infrastructure is there. Right, sir. Then you get a subsidy on all those commodities. सर आपका बहुत वास्ट एक्सपीरियंस है सर एग्री बिजनेस में आपकी बातों से लग रहा है परंपरागत कृषि विज्ञान योजना इसमें भी इन्वॉल्व था तो सारी योजना में जो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर के लिए हम सब इन्वॉल्व थे इसमें हाँ नहीं सर बिल्कुल 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 और पॉलिसीज काफी हैं यू हैव यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ दोस एंड यू हैव टू मेक इंटरलाइजेशन ऑफ दोस पॉलिसीज बेस्ट पॉलिसीज राइट सर राइट सर सुदीप आप आईएएफपीटी की आप आईएएफपीटी की साइट विजिट करिएगा उसपे काफी सारे प्रोसेसेस दिए हुए हैं और बहुत सारी प्रोसेस दी हुई है इवन पूरा का पूरा ब्रोशर दिया हुआ है पूरी की पूरी मैनुअल दी हुई है किस चीज को आप क्या कर सकते हो क्या बिजनेस कर सकते हो इवन उसका पूरा का पूरा बिजनेस चार्ट भी प्लान भी दिया हुआ है तो एक बार आप आईएएफपीटी की साइट विजिट करिएगा सुदीप यस आप बोलिए सर माई एक्सपीरियंस सर एज कम्प्लीटिंग द फर्स्ट वर्कशॉप ऑन एग्री बिजनेस आई गॉट दिस दैट एग्री गिल्ड चार
agribusinesses pull up enterprise yeah. and entrepreneurship yeah. so that's a the very good experience for okay, me nice. uh, because of that in the bba come bba and come student uh, we can just uh, dear study theoretically regarding a company in production and product but in agriculture in uh, agri business there is something that you will be in while in the environment in uh, field is uh, re- result better yeah so which is uh, like the opportunity is very much in uh, people can start their own business as uh, very easily uh, with no uh, need of uh, huge capital right. so it's a very easy busy, uh, business yes. yes very nice very nice prithu so yeah ma'am uh, at the end just one can request uh, as people also message in the inbox do you will uh, get the certificate uh, regarding this workshop yes sir definitely but uh, it's uh, within a week it's a whose uh, day so on uh, within a week i will provided all participants in a certificate don't worry for the certificate So thank you thank you, thank you sir thank you uh, very much for uh, uh, this uh, thank you very much for this presentation i am very much thank you to you dr anu thank you so much thank you okay now this my side and thank you so much very effective sessions and the very who's knowledge share the both sessions in the dr sangram sir and dr subod agarwal so this my side so i thank you to for the bottom of my heart for the taking time for your the busy schedules to be greatest Thank speakers you. in our today's workshop session so your presence and wise toward helpful magnify so now i'm hand over the today's sessions uh, the vote of thanks my colleagues dr ashish so you can continue dr ashish i'm audible yeah audible good afternoon one and all gathered here our guest speaker dr sangram chauhan and mr subodh agrawal sir respected head professor vinod dar sir and all the participant on the occasion of workshop on opportunities in agriculture sector under the sanmantrana 2021 22 it is a truly an honor for me to able to express my gratitude to all the dignitaries and the participant i would like to thanks the distinguished guest speaker dr sangram chawan and mr subodh agrawal sir for taking time out of their hectic schedule to grace the today's session thank you for sharing your wisdom with us today and inspiring and encouraging us professor vinod dhar sir head sri vishnu institute of agriculture stpw indore deserves special gratitude for his invaluable his valuable support in making the workshop a success i would like to express my gratitude to my colleague dr annu naruka assistant professor genetics and plant breeding as well as all the faculty members and the technical team of sri vishnu institute of agriculture stpl indore i also thank all the participant for their active participation thank you everyone once again for making it great success thank you very much thank you thank you so much thank you so much participants thank you thank you sir thank you Can we leave the class? Yes, yes, bro. Yeah, of yes, course. Yes, you can leave.